Welcome to lesson five. This lesson is all about working with Illustrator's brush tool and creating some very fascinating and interesting artistic effects. Now, I've been outfitted here with one of these Wacom drawing styluses here. So if you have one of these yourself, go run and grab it. If you don't, a lot of the effects here are also possible by simply drawing with your mouse. So you can certainly follow along. You won't have any problem. And because I'm using a tablet here, you'll find that my mouse cursor might jump around just a little bit. That's just sort of a normal thing that happens when you work with a drawing stylus. And you might see a little bit of jumping as well when I switch back to my normal mouse. And again, that's just sort of a normal thing that happens. Now we'll start things off simple in this lesson. Go ahead and create yourself a brand new blank document. And I'm going to press the B key on my keyboard. That switches me over to my brush tool. And with my drawing stylus here, or with your mouse, it's really just a matter of beginning to draw some artistic shapes here, some lovely swirls and some interesting lines here. And as you're creating your lovely artistic objects here, what Illustrator is doing in the background is following all of my brush strokes, all of my movements here, and simply laying down a path and dropping in anchor points wherever I'm dragging with my stylus pen here, or wherever you're dragging with your mouse. As you're drawing here, if you'd like to deselect, all you have to do is just hold down the control key or the command key on the Mac and just single click. Or with my stylus here, I just tap on my stylus. So for example, I'm drawing something along here, some kind of a, a wavy line here. And then to deselect this, I just hold down control or command and just tap. Or if you're using your mouse, just single click. I'm going to get rid of all of this here. I'll just hit control A or command A and press delete here. Working with a stylus is fantastic. You can do all kinds of neat little artistic effects here, like if I wanted to draw some kind of a quick cartoon character or something like this. Fantastic for getting these neat little sketchy effects here, something like this here. Draw a neat little guy here. Maybe something like this. This is certainly not a rendition of my video director here at Total Training, just a neat little character here. So there we are. There's our neat little fellow there. And if you want to zoom in a little bit, if you've drawn yourself a little character, certainly that's not a problem at all. And again, all it is is just simple vector paths. That's all it is. If you want to take a quick look at your preview mode, just hit Control Y or Command Y on the Mac, and that's all it is. That's all that's happening. Okay, so hopefully you're having some fun here. Give yourself a little bit of extra room here. In fact, you may want to drag around a little bit until you have some extra empty space here. And I want to show you a couple of neat things. As you're drawing your different lines and arcs and so on, whatever it might be that you're drawing up here, I have no idea what this is. This could be, um, maybe it's some kind of a prehistoric monster of some sort here. What I can do is over in my brushes palette, in fact, I'll just grab my brushes palette and drag it over onto my artwork here. What I can do with my brushes palette is I can begin to apply different types of brushes to my lovely line art here that I've created. So right now we're using calligraphy like brushes here. This first row here of brushes gives me this sort of calligraphy effect. You can see there. Later on we'll be talking about some of the artistic brushes you can use and some of these neat scatter brushes and so on that you can use. But just keep in mind that these are just simple paths here. The interesting thing in Illustrator is Illustrator just sees the simple lines and then simply applies the brush formatting over top of it. You could use the analogy, if you want, of plain text in a text editor and then just applying text formatting over top of that plain text, something like this.